With me tonight on the show is uh, Willis Reed, a former teammate of mine, captain of the New York Knickerbockers, who's probably known best of all for a trip on the floor in the seventh game against the L.A. Lakers in 1970. Congratulations, Willis, on a new contract. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. It's happy to have a job for a few more years. You know what that's all about. Uh, I do. Willis is vice president and uh, director of player personnel here with the New, York, New Jersey Nets. Well, we want to talk a little bit about these New Jersey Nets. They're going really good. We're doing well. I think Chuck is doing a good job. I think Bill took us as far as he could. He got us into the playoffs, and we had some problems. But I think this year, after those problems, Chuck came in with a clean slate. He's been very positive, and I think the players have responded to it. Well, you've gathered a good staff around. You've got Brendan Sewer with him, who was at Detroit. You've got Paul Silas yes. with the Knicks. How'd that happen? Well, I mean, uh, it just came about. Paul, uh, Chuck came in and said, uh, he said, uh, what do you think about Paul Silas? I think he's a good man. He said, I would have been interested in him. I called uh, the Knicks, and they let us talk to him, and uh, we made him an offer, and, you know, so he, he's with us. I'm happy we got a guy to work with our big people. Oh, you're right. He's yes. a big influence. A big Very much so. And Very much so. You tell him your offensive board, the guys yes. play yes. inside. Yes, you do a good job. Now you had to make some big decisions this year. Terry Mills is up in a free agent, restricted free agent. You had to pass on That him. was a tough one, Phil. Uh, I, I think if, um, if Terry had met with me and really said he wanted to come back here, we would have had him back here. It's unfortunate it didn't. I think as you see that it hurts our bench. We don't have as much scoring off the bench. Jason William may eventually feel that void, but Jason hasn't played. He's been hurt. Only played 11 games. I think that really hurt us. It does because that was a talented player. Oh, most definitely. But you've got to have guys that want to play for you, don't you? I agree. I, I think, uh, as the writer said, uh, why you didn't do it anyway? I said because if in two years he wasn't playing well and not happy, you would have said, well, you knew I didn't want to come back here anyway. Why did you sign him? That's a $10 million commitment to the club, and I didn't. Afraid that I didn't want to make that decision for the club, and we made a decision to pass. Uh, it looks like it'll be okay at yes. this point. Well, if Colvin thing, plays well, yes. The other big thing was the Blaylock trade. Uh, a couple days before the season started, you got rid of Moki to Atlanta. Yeah, well, that trade for us was an interesting trade. I think um, I felt like Anderson was a better point guard than Mookie, even though Mookie was a starting point guard in our league. I thought he could play and be a very good point guard. We traded for Ramil. Ramil hasn't responded in terms of being a bench player. He's been a starter for his time in uh, Atlanta. And we really probably haven't given him the kind of minutes because Chuck has really went out and had a lot of close games where he thought he could win them. And so he stayed with Anderson and uh, Petrovic. Uh, I'm hoping that as we go down the road that uh, uh, we'll get a little more playing time and uh, Ramil will get a little more comfortable with his position because I think he is a pretty good shooter from the perimeter and he could help us. We need that from him. Well, what it's done positively, Willis, it's given direction to Kenny Anderson. Now, he knows he's the guy and the job, and he's done a real good job. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. The Kenny Anderson part of it, we had no problem with. I, I just hope that we can get uh, Ramil to start scoring the basketball for us. And if he can, then that, it works out to be a very good deal because, you know, I think a lot of games in our league are won, not because of how well your starters play, but how well the guys who play off the bench for those starters for those minutes they're on the floor. Well, that's true. Willis, I want to thank you for being on the show. I wish we could talk some more minutes. The great leader with the New York Knicks, Willis Reed. Thank you very much, Phil.